Hey, Kevin here from the internet. Welcome back to the breakdown series. The series where we analyze and talk Tarkov tactics. If you want to learn and improve your PvP game in Tarkov, make sure you check out the playlist to the series, which is linked in the description down below and should be clickable on the screen about now. In this entry, we focus on movement and PvP as a solo. Making use of your own movement, manipulating opposition movement and being unpredictable in your approach to gain the upper hand in a fight is something that I find gets often underutilized in Tarkov. Many players seem to either not want to fight at all or just go in head first to the meta kit. While the latter can be fun and proven to be effective when you know what you're doing and are familiar enough with the game, it's definitely not always the way to go. For a player like myself who is definitely not the best or pro in PvP, I often find myself needing to rely on tactics more than brute force. So, first scenario, shoreline. We have just spawned in and we hear shots close by. As we crest over the hill to see what's going on, we immediately see the guy up close looking to our right. It's a bit hard to see, but there's another guy behind him on the hill too. The second guy is not shooting at the first guy, even though he should have a line of sight on him, so we know they are definitely bodies. With the first guy looking to our right, towards the road, we know that the guy that they're fighting is likely in that direction. Otherwise, they wouldn't be looking that way, right? It would make sense for these guys to move in that direction too, and us being alone, it would be preferred to try and get behind them. So with them likely moving to the right, we move to the left. We can throw a grenade to see if we get lucky on a kill or damage one of them. It's a better option in this case rather than just open fire on the first guy because the grenade will not immediately tell them that we're here as a third party. In their mind, the guy that they're fighting probably threw the grenade too. We stay under the radar for now. Is that a duo? A catch. Well, that was uh, kind of overkill. <laughs> I think it might be a duo. Where'd the other guy go? Oh, there. Yeah, it's definitely a duo. Like a true cheetah stalking its prey, they have no idea what's lurking in the grass. We have them in our sights now, and I'm trying to see if I can line up a headshot, but decide to not pull the trigger yet. Having the confirmation that it's definitely a duo, as soon as I give away my position, I want to be dead sure that we take out at least one. And if possible, the second one too, in one swoop. If we take a shot now, and miss, or don't kill one straight away, this could turn into a nasty 2v1. We might end up getting hurt and possibly die. And then there's still a potential third guy to worry about. The one that they initially got into a fight with. We remain in the shadows as we creep up. They still have no clue that we're here, so we go for a grenade again. Heisenberg will be pissed when he finds out, but there's actually no cooking grenades in Tarkov. So I throw my F1 grenades up way high in a big arc. The grenade will spend most of its time traveling in the air, and the fuse will be about done by the time it lands at their feet giving them pretty much zero chance to escape, if it lands well. And this again will not give away our position, and it might mislead them into believing that the third guy threw it, if he's still alive. This guy is looking very unlikely to still get back up. We lost the second guy for now, but he's still close, and judging from the second grenade, the guy that we're fighting is likely still around too. They're somewhere directly in front of us now. And here we are. Quite the extraordinary sight. The cute little Bambi, playing in the grass. Still absolutely clueless about what's coming for him. Anyway, before we go completely National Geo in here, 
it looks very much like he's still fighting. So in moments like these, you really want to consider the environment too. Don't waste any ammo you don't need to. Think of our future generations so they can live in a world that's not littered with bullet casings. Let these guys kill each other and then we'll clean up the mess afterwards. What are you shooting at? Did you win? He's still fighting. He's on top of the hill, no? That's just a juke. Shit, where'd he go? So here we can see a backpack sticking up from out the grass. Our little Bambi has been naughty and it turns out he wasn't playing at all. In fact, without directly seeing him, he's most likely looting that other creature right now. We have to intervene and let this little fella know that his behavior is totally not okay. We throw the grenade to make him get up and then it's time for the good old bullet hose. That'll teach him, little fuckers. Them. GG boyos. <laughs> that was a cool fight. <laughs> the other guy that died on the rock. Oh. This guy, he ate a nade. Which is, uh, if you're new to the game, by the way, chat. If you're wondering, uh, don't do not eat the pineapples, okay? <laughs> do not eat the pineapples. It's not a, it's not really the best idea. And also, do not eat the yellow snow. What is pineapple in Dutch? Ananas. I asked somebody at one point. She was not really the brightest, but the. Uh, yeah, so I asked her, uh, what is uh, ananas in English? Is it, uh, is it uh, anan ananas or ananas? <laughs> and then she thought about it for a while. <laughs> she said ananas. <laughs> anyway. I dropped this guy's arm. I don't need it. So let's see what the other guy has had. I hope that guy who got killed didn't have... Uh, Another teammate. Judging from the gunshots, I'd say he didn't. Where's that power station? Sounds like power. If you like what you're seeing and hearing so far, or if you're a fan of the Breakdown series, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. If you like to talk about random stuff, including Dutch pineapples and stroopwafels, and have a good time with the chill community, feel free to stop on by and say hello during the live streams over at twitch.tv slash crest. Hope to see you there. So after killing these guys, we moved on up to the noise on the power station and by simply changing line of sight a little bit, we clear up an easy two-man player scav team. This next clip shows how powerful movement can be. It looks really simple and it truly is, but even changing up your angle a little bit can help massively. We hear tiles, so I definitely know that they're inside in the bathroom. They're about to cross this window. So that's the first guy down, and instead of staying here and be predictable, as well as a sitting duck, we can rotate slightly and change our angle. I really hope this guy can find what he's looking for out that window. Oh baby. Oh baby. We found the Ronan helmet in a hidden stash by the way. They're really good now with the improved loot table. I've done a video on my route for these stashes on Suroline before. I'll link it down in the description in case you haven't seen it. It's a pretty good route and it's usually safe. Next scenario takes place in the factory. This map is like a concrete jungle and I like it a lot. We're on a player's calf and sneaking up on the beams towards a guy in the wood tower. I'm not sure what the call out is for this thing since I pretty much always play this map solo. It's dead in the middle of the map anyway. 
We spawned with the VSS and 10 round mags, which you burn through pretty fast. Is my boy still in there? Couldn't tell where he went. He's hurt, but he's still alive, so we want to move fast and seal the deal. I want to approach him from a different angle to keep him guessing, even if it's only a little bit. <laughs> Lol. Yo. After killing the dude, we pick up a scatter and mags, and when I'm about done with the raid and headed to the extract, we find a guy behind the pipes. I found a lot more people chilling behind them recently. It's not really a biggie. They're easily flushed out with nades from that position, but we don't have any on us, so we'll have to be creative. We've peeked a few times from the same angle now. It's something you generally don't want to do. I just do a lot of dumb stuff because this late on in the wipe, I don't really care about money or losing a fight. Do as I say, not as I do. Anyway, so we've peeked a few times from the same angle, and then I remember the stairs behind me that we can use to slightly change where we pop up from. We'll be the ones in the advantage because we know where the guy is and he's not expecting us from a different angle. This means we'll be able to get a few shots off before he adjusts his aim. <laughs> Oof, you bugger! And we get an easy kill. This is really how simple it can be sometimes. No need to overcomplicate stuff. Just keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> Got him. Wait, he has shotgun. That's about it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the streams over at twitch.tv slash Christ. And please do leave a like and subscribe if you aren't a sub yet. It helps me out big time. Anyway, see you in the next. Oh yeah, and check out the description for the playlist of the Breakdown series and other Tarkov stuff on my channel. Bye.